I'm going to show you how to make your first rule. We'll start by clicking New Rule, and we're going to choose the application. Right now, Microsoft is what we have. Next, we're going to choose the organization that we're going to be monitoring. This would be your client's name here. And then we're going to choose to trigger it for all accounts rather than a specific account. Next, we'll choose the event that is going to cause this trigger to happen. In this instance, I'm going to use a file event modified. And I'm going to say, let's say 50 times within 15 minutes, we see a specific account modify files. Probably not humanly possible and a good indication that potentially a crypto event is happening. You could add an and so that you have two events that have to happen to trigger it or an or as you get more advanced. Next, we're going to just provide you a summary. Okay, we're going to look at Microsoft apps for this specific organization, all of the accounts, and if a specific account modifies files 50 times in 15 minutes, we want to do something. Next, we're going to choose what that something is. So from in here, these are the different actions that we allow you to pick. The first thing that we're going to do is aspire all account logins. We want to make sure that effectively everything is logged out. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that they can't log back in. And then we're going to have this happen automatically rather than requiring approval for the action to happen. Next, when this event fires an alert to your PSA or to email, how do you want to classify this specific alert? I think it's critical. We're going to leave it there. Next up, you can configure text messaging in case you want to get alerted uh, at all hours of the day. And then next up, uh, we're going to see a summary. So again, what are we doing? We're going to expire the account logins. We're going to block the sign in. We're going to do it automatically without any approval whatsoever. We're going to classify it as critical. And we're not going to text message in this instance, although we could. The next item that we're going to do is decide that we're just going to run this all the time rather than a specific time or a recurring on a certain interval. Finally, let's go ahead and title this rule now. Let's say file modified. Oh, apparently I've done this before. Lockout um, and expire. And let's go ahead and choose to save this as a draft. At this point, we can look at what we've done. It is not active yet. Once you're ready to activate it, you click activate rule. And this rule will be running. And if we go back to rules, you will see it here.